hello students today we are going to learn how to do this problem without knowing any formula that means if you forgot the formula you studied but you forgot we'll see how to do this problem okay question is this the mean free path for a gas with molecular diameter d and number density n can be expressed as option 1 four options are given option 1 One by root two n pi d squared. Option two, one by root two n squared pi d squared. Option three, one by root two n squared pi squared d squared. Option four, one by root two n pi d. The expression for mean free path for a gas is derived in NCERT book also. You should have learnt it, or you should have gone through it, or you should have come across it. And uh, if you remember it, you can just. Um, Uh, write the correct answer without any wastage of time okay easy straight question but in case you forgot the formula you studied hard and you forgot the formula so uh, for that matter you can you need not leave this question this kind of question not all questions you can apply the same method but this method this for this question there is one method see the question is asking something about mean free path so we define it first mean free path l is the average distance covered by a molecule between two successive collisions mean free path path is a kind of length don't forget it then n is number density given in the question number density but that is number of molecules per unit volume then d is given as molecular diameter or diameter of the molecule then what is we are going to use the dimensional method very very simple without knowing any uh, actual formula you can use the dimensional method mean free path the dimension is l therefore you will have to find out out of the four options which expression has the dimension of length that will be the correct answer so now you can see the first one one no dimension root two no dimension n number of molecules per unit volume therefore dimension l power minus 3 d being a diameter it is a sort of length so l square because d square so l square simplify the denominator you will get l power minus 1 that will go to numerator you will get l which is same as the dimension of mean free path therefore this answer is the correct answer but anyhow we will proceed and find out uh, the dimensions for the other uh, options also now see for this one no dimension root 2 no dimension n square l power minus 6 pi no dimension because it's a number 3.14 d square l square because d is length so l square Simplify the denominator. You will get l power minus six l squared. L power minus four. Go to the numerator. It will become l power four. Dimension is l power four. Okay. Now you see the dimension for this. Same way. One no dimension. Root two no dimension. Pi squared no dimension. N square l power minus six. D square l square. Simplify. L power minus four in the denominator. Take it to the numerator. L power four. Understood this. go to the next one one no dimension root 2 no dimension n l power minus 3 pi no dimension d is l l power minus 2 take it to the numerator l square dimension so out of the four uh, dimensions we got here corresponding to the options this one is having the same dimension as the mean free path so this has to be the correct answer so in uh, this option 1 is the correct one you can't apply this method for uh, all questions but luckily this question has come like that okay is it clear have you understood it thank you we'll meet in the next video thank you